In today's video, we're gonna check out the TCL R646 and the QN98. We're gonna put them up against each other and find out what's the best QLED for your budget. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put 10 seconds on the clock for each thing that I show you, and you're gonna go ahead and guess, and then I'll reveal the answer shortly after that. This is a very fun style game. I hope you guys enjoy. This is something I really love doing, and I've gotten great feedback on it. You guys love it as well. Some of my favorite videos to make are these videos. So thank you guys so much for showing your support. Really quickly, if you guys aren't subscribed and you like these kind of videos, please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more like this. It's going to help grow the channel a lot and I will really deeply appreciate it. So thank you guys so much for all your love that you show. Let's get on with the fun. Okay, in this first example, we have a gecko climbing on the leaf. Let's put 10 seconds on the clock right now. Okay, did you guess that the QN90A was A? If so, you are correct. See, what we're seeing here from the QN90A is a very OLED-like image. And this is why I like the QN90A so much. It's very much an LCD TV. It's very bright. But it does have those deep black levels that you can really appreciate. And this is something that Samsung has done very well this year. Okay, moving on, we have a cup of water from the OLED demo. Put 10 seconds on the clock right now. Alright, did you guess that A was the TCL 6 series? If so, you are correct. Now this one's not a huge difference, and honestly it was really hard for me to spot the differences. If you look closely, you can see that the QN90A is brighter and it is showing better highlights than the TCL 6 series overall in this example. Alright, in this next example we have a desert scene. Go ahead and put 10 seconds on the clock right now. Okay, did you guess that A was the QN90A? If so, you are correct. So the difference here is going to be in the shadows. It does seem like the shadows are presented more accurately with the QN90A. The TCL 6 series seems to lift the shadows a lot in this scene and also seems to lift the sky a lot in this scene. So I do think that there's way more gradient going on too on the QN90A. This is something that I really noticed with these two TVs. All right, for this next example, we're gonna take a look at this big cat side by side. Go ahead and put 10 seconds on the clock right now. Did you guess that A was the QN90A? If so, you are correct. The big difference here is going to be in the depth again. I mean, wow, the details are so noticeable in this scene. The difference is night and day. And people ask me, why would you spend $500 more to get the QN90A over the TCL 6 series? And this is exactly why. So you are getting so much better detail and just a better image overall with the QN90A. It almost feels like this is not a fair side by side and it's not really supposed to be. So you have to understand that I'm just showing you guys the differences for the people that want to make that decision if they're going to spend that extra $500 or if they're okay with the TCL 6 series image. All right, in this next example, we have a cityscape. Go ahead and put 10 seconds on the clock right now. All right, did you guess that B was the TCL 6 series? If so, you are correct. The difference here is not actually that huge. And it honestly seems like the TCL 6 series is doing a better job with the way that the details are kind of popping out in this scene. But overall, I like the color better on the QN98. Now the color is just really something that could just be adjusted yourself. And this is just out of the box color with just a few adjustments to make it more close to what I like. And yes, these are set to their warmest settings, both of them. I really love the TCL 6 series, definition and the, just the details that it's providing on this scene specifically which is really interesting because so far the details battle has been won with the QN90A let's keep going and see if this trend continues or maybe the TCL will pull ahead all right in this next example we have that OLED demo with the honey put 10 seconds on the clock right now Did 
Did you guess that B was the TCL6 series? If so, you're correct. Okay, so in this example here, it's a little bit noticeable on the blooming. Now, both of these TVs don't have that much blooming, but I do have to say the QN90A handles blooming so well. Unless you're looking at it from the side, you will hardly ever see blooming on this TV. And it really does a magnificent job with OLED demos. So I have to say that this kind of content is very skewed to the QN90A's favor. Okay, in this next example, we have some glaciers with the waterfall. Go ahead and put 10 seconds on the clock right now. All right, did you guess that A was the TCL6 series? If so, you are correct. Now the difference here again is going to be definition and highlight detail. But this is actually a really close example and maybe you prefer the way that the TCL6 series looks. The Samsung processor really takes images to another dimension and it really gives it that 3D look. And maybe you don't like that in your TV, so you'll prefer more of the TCL6 series, but I personally love this. And I really think that we've come a long way with our processors, man, with what Sony's doing and Samsung not being too far behind. We really got some things to look forward to in the future when it comes to processing. All right, in this next example, we have some wildlife in the field. Put 10 seconds on the clock right now. Okay, did you guess that A was the QN90A? If so, you are correct. Now, let's take a look at this image in depth here. I think that this is a very interesting example of like the way that the brightness is coming through on the TCL. It does try its best to try to give it that over brightened look. And that's what you would really expect from Samsung. And this is again, a really good example of the Samsung processing doing its best. And I really like what I see from this image again. QN90A is just working its magic on these things. All right, in this next example, we have some volcano action. Put 10 seconds on the clock right now. Okay, did you guess that B was the TCL6 series? If so, you are correct. Now this one's a little bit closer and I don't know which one I like better personally. Um, I can definitely tell that the QN90A is going to be brighter right here in the highlights, but the TCL6 series is doing something with its definition and sharpening. I did put on things like micro dimming with the TCL6 series so that it would have a better chance with the QN90A because the QN90A has all that stuff and it's just on by default and you can't toggle it off. I wanted to give the TCL6 series a fighting chance with this. So yeah, that's why I put this stuff on and you can kind of see it is showing up here and maybe it's a little too aggressive on this scene, but I don't know. I actually like the way that the TCL6 series image looks here and I wouldn't mind either TV on this example. All right, in this example, we have fruit from the OLED demo. Go ahead and put 10 seconds on the clock right now. Did you guess that B was the TCL6 series? If so, you are correct. Now this is a really interesting example because we're not seeing any separation of colors much at all. It seems like the TCL6 series is just showing almost the same shade of red across the whole image. This one is definitely disappointing to see because the QN90A is showing multiple shades of red and then it also looks like there might even be blackberries mixed in in there. You could barely see that on the TCL6 series. I really don't know what the R646 is doing with this example here. I'm not sure. Okay, this example here, you guys are going to have to guess and tell me in the comments which one do you think is better. We're going to go ahead and give you the answer next week on the live stream at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time on Friday. And if you guys can't make the live stream, I will put it in the comments below a week from now. So what did you guys think? The QN90A or the TCL6 series? I personally like the QN90A better. I think that it just gives you so much more than the TCL6 series does. And I mean, it is more expensive, but this is the better TV, far and away. If you guys are buying Black Friday TVs on Amazon, please buy them with my links. Every purchase helps the channel so much, and it's no cost to you guys. 
thank you guys so much for doing that if you are shopping on amazon this holiday season if you guys like the video hit the thumbs up button please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future thank you guys so much for watching have a great day and i'll see you in the next one